Hi, I am Kat from Kat's Satori Creations, and today I am going to attempt to do a bloom. Um, I am going to use this bright, deep purple violet, and then emerald green. I have a little bit left from my earlier pores, and then some royal fuchsia. The paints are quite thick and then I have a gold very pretty and this is a blue that I fixed it's my scrapings that I scrape up after I'm done my painting I get anywhere from two to six ounces back every time um, I paint and then I just save it up and I kind of like Take the colors that are more like each other and um, then I make a big batch of it um, but this is a light permanent blue and phthalo blue very pretty okay so I think that I am going to put down the purple violet first And I've been trying to do this, but I couldn't get it to work. So this is another attempt, and I just figured I'd film it in case it comes out. Okay. And now the Royal Fuchsia. And some gold. And some emerald green. And this is actually a phthalo blue that I'm going to use for the cell activator. Okay. And that's all my colors. Oh, I kind of like that. I think I should have clumped my paints more in the middle, but I'm liking that so far. Now, maybe I will do some drawing on there. Make sure you can still see that good. All right, what do we want to do? I could do this all day, every day. It's so much fun. Oh, I love the colors. This actually is working this time. I found out I was, uh, I fixed a couple of the uh, light colored paints. Um, yesterday and when i was fixing the paints i put some phthalo blue and this is from the dollar tree this this paint i was using um and i put it in my paint and i started mixing it in and i started having a cell reaction so a light bulb went off i was like oh the reason why my blooms are failing is because my black paint didn't have very much pigments in it 
so it wasn't working but oh my word look at that design i absolutely love it i'm going to tip it just a little bit to make sure this paint goes everywhere okay we are going to spin and bring this so you can see it better I mean, these are paints from Walmart and the Dollar Tree, and look how beautiful that is. You can make these from any paint. It does not have to be the expensive paints. If you have a low budget, you just go to the Dollar Tree and go to Walmart, or even Job Lots has awesome paints. And um, when you're mixing up your paints, when you mix it in with the white, or a light color, just look to see if you're having a cell reaction and that will tell you if what the pigment level is in the paint. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, I think that is absolutely beautiful and I need a little bit more paint on this side, but I have a little trick. Let me go get, I gotta go get my spoon. I will be right back. So I have this little nifty spoon. It's like a knife spoon. And let's see here, what do I want for colors? I think I'll put this color, these colors right here, right there. Pretty much matches. And then it's just so easy to get the spots that have been missed. And again, we'll go in for some light color. Something that's gonna look good in that spot. And voila, corners are fixed. Wow. That is gorgeous. Let's spin it. Stretch it out just a little bit. Oops, sorry about that. So what do you think? I'm going to take you in for a close-up. Move the camera. What do you think of that? I absolutely think that is gorgeous. So tell me what you think in the comments. Please like and share and subscribe. Don't forget to like and don't, sorry, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye for now.